everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, so again, I've been thinking about what video to do today. Um, so I came up with an idea and I thought I might do a like school and college like advice video. Um, so yeah, let's just get into it. So for school, obviously it's very hard isn't it? When you first join in year seven, you just want to make a good impression. Um, you want everybody to like you and stuff like that. So, um, and there's obviously like the popularity scales and stuff like that. Um, and I had a really hard time when I started school. My parents just split up. I was very emotional, clingy, um, you know, and I didn't have many friends when I first started. So for me, it was really hard. Um, but as I got older, I grew more into myself, um, became quite annoying. Um, but yeah, so the first tip I would give you for starting school is, I know people say this a lot, um, but just go in there and be yourself completely. Um, just focus on yourself and um, make sure you have like, if there's people who want to be your friends, don't worry about who they are. Like don't worry if they're not popular or um, they're so cool. Uh, don't worry about that just be friends with people who want to be there for you want to be your friend um, and yeah and friendships can be really hard especially when you're younger and when you're you know in year seven you just you want to be liked so bad um, but yeah so that's the first tip um, the second tip I would say is I cannot stress this enough focus in school um, for me I focused really really hard in like year nine, 10, yeah, year nine and 10 really. Um, and for me then I just like whizzed past, like I, I knew a lot of stuff cause I'd like um, revised and stuff. And I did a lot of like, I did a lot of work in year nine and 10. Um, so it helped me a lot in year 11. And I actually believe that that's probably why I got the grades that I got because I put in that hard work in year nine and 10. Um, so then I got the good grades in year 11. and yeah um third of all do not worry about your GCSEs I'm not being funny I have not used them I've only used them to get into college um that's all I've used them for and even if you didn't get the five GCSEs you can still get onto level two courses level one courses um at college apprenticeships stuff like that just I'm not saying don't work hard but don't get so stressed about it um just don't get stressed about the whole exam things I know they say oh if you don't get this you can't do well in life no that's just complete rubbish there are so many um, professionals um, business people who have done so well um, and have no grades um, so just don't let that um, dim you I'm <clears throat> not saying don't work hard but just don't be so 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 worried about that because it's really not a big deal at all you know i've got my five GS gcse's great but have i used them no apart from to get into my level three course which i could have got into a level two anyway even if i hadn't got those grades so yeah but i'm, I'm glad i've got them i worked hard for them um but yeah <coughs> so the third tip i'm not really sure to be fair um but i would say maybe don't get involved in like gossip and stuff because that's just where you go wrong. Like, just don't get involved in it. Um, you'll be dragged into things. People will make up things, say you've said things when you haven't. Um, and when you leave school, most of your friendships, I don't I don't think I talk to anyone from school, nobody at all. Um, I've had a few conversations with people from school, um, but I don't talk to them. I haven't got any friends from school. Um, so yeah, just don't get involved in the gossip. It's not worth it. Um, because when you leave school you realise what's important and who's important and who's, you know, um, being there for you and who's going to support you and stuff. Um, so yeah, um, the picking your subjects to do for GCSEs, um, I can't stress this enough. Pick something that you love and that you... Can I just really add, if you don't like um, any subjects, then try and pick something that you think you might enjoy a little bit because I picked history and music and let me tell you that was a long two years doing music I, I didn't I couldn't read music all I could do was sing at the time and play chords on a piano and a guitar 
um, and yeah, it was just awful. Like, <laughs> the only part I liked was the performance bit of it, um, but yeah, so just pick something you like. And history, I did like history, but it was a lot, a lot, a lot of work and a lot of English um, involved in it, so I would just say, um, yeah, if you're going to pick something, make sure it's not, um, make sure you don't pick too many hard things, because even though you might want to do it in college or whatever, like you might want to do an A-level in like, I don't know, chemistry and it would help if you, or A-level, like it would help if you took triple science, just don't make it hard for yourself, because I got so stressed out um, when I did history and music, I did, uh, I also did philosophy and ethics, which I absolutely loved, I would do that again, um, I would, I would just, I would love to teach that as a teacher, don't, um, get carried away with yourself. So in year 11, I decided that I was gonna smoke. I uh, attempt to smoke. Um, yeah, attempt to smoke, be rude to teachers and stuff like that when they were just trying to help. And I could have got a lot of better grades if I had focused and not tried to like be cool, basically. Um, I look back on it now and I'm really embarrassed about that just because it was cringy. I was like trying to be somebody I, well, I'm, I wasn't just to like impress people. Um, so yeah, don't do that. Um, so when you go to college, um, make sure you apply for the course as soon as possible, as soon as you know what you want to do and as soon as you know you definitely want to do it because um, there were some people who didn't pick college courses um, and they didn't go to college. Um, and even though college is long, college is hard work, I did a BTEC you know, that was hard work for me, um, it's worth it, I've got, I've, you know, um, hopefully got those two years at, at college, um, I did a travel and tourism, um, course, I've got that now, you know, that's going to attract a lot of employee, um, uh, employers, so yeah, yeah, that's it really, so just make sure you apply, um, don't leave it to the last minute, because they'll be on your case file as well, um, yeah, and maybe my last tip would be, when you're going for a work experience um, in year 10, it really doesn't matter where you go, like it literally doesn't matter, just go anywhere because unless you really, really want to do something and you really, really want to be like a nurse or something, you know, you might be able to like organise something to do with that. But um, yeah, it doesn't really matter where you go in year 10. I went to a church because I wanted to be a, a preacher at the time, I don't anymore, but I wanted to be at the time. Um, I had a really, really fun week actually at that church. Um, I learned a lot about how the church runs. Um, and, but yeah, when you're going for work experience in college, I'd say definitely go somewhere that you want to go then. So I went to a travel agent in the first year and I went to um, my old primary school in the second year and I really, really enjoyed the second year one. First year I wasn't too keen because it was just sat like sitting down at the travel agents but yeah, second one was really great. Make sure you like pick your, like what you actually want to do for your second year um, in your work experience because like um, I was thinking like, oh I'd love to work with kids, I'm not sure whether that will be for me now um, and for the first year when I went to a travel agent I thought oh that might be something I, I would love to do, I, I wouldn't want to do that now just because I, I um, I find it quite boring just sat in an office, um, but yeah. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, um, and I hope that you've um, got some good tips from um, going to secondary school and going into college, and yeah, so I'll see you in my next video.